This is my 1971 Datsun 240Z that's for sale. It has 186,000 miles on the original motor, although the motor has been torn apart and probably, my guess, is about 20,000 miles on it since the rebuild. Let's do a quick walk around here. You can see it has fresh paint on it. The paint is a 2004 Honda Monte Carlo Blue. I believe it was painted in 2005, early on. It's originally from California. I bought it from the original owner. <clears throat> the original owner did the majority of the work on the car. If I were to score this, I'd probably get a 95 out of 100. The car runs very strong. I bought this originally to be my daily driver and after seeing it, decided I couldn't. Um, so in two and a half years, I've probably put close to 10,000 miles on the car, um, which I guess is a lot for an older car. Um, but that's just driving to work and back, taking some road trips to car shows. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to list off some of the mods here for you guys. There's a lot, so please refer to the listing that I have or call me or email me um, and I'll give you a full list of everything here. Just to start off from what we see, we have some RBS side mirrors which replace the original ones. They were painted to match the body. Uh, we also have some five slot mag wheels. These were from the 1970s that the original owner bought. This one, if I can zoom in here for you to see, it's a little tough. I polished up um, and got it nice and shiny again. The other three um, are still a little oxidized and need to be cleaned up. The door locks were shaved off. The rear antenna was shaved off. We have a carbon fiber rear spoiler. The rear bumper was shaved. Actually, sorry, the front bumper was shaved. The rear one is a fiberglass bumper. The front bumper was shaved, as I'll show you. The key to the gas tank was shaved off. RBS mirror on that side. See, there's our front bumper, along with a front air dam that the original owner bought in the 1970s also. It's fiberglass. A little better than those urethane ones. It doesn't flex at speeds. Try to show you the interior real quick. Start with the hatch. All right, inside here we have new carpet from Motorsports Auto. It is the looped carpet, and in my opinion, uh, is a very close match to the original carpet. The original was placed was replaced because it was a little faded. If you look at the dash here, we can see we have a Grant steering wheel. We have two ADZ gauges. We have a Sony Explode CD player. We have a center console that just easily removes, um, but I got that so I could put my coffee in it on the way to work. I don't know if we can see, but we have nice carpets in there also. And we also have new seat vinyls. I'll show you those when we get to the other side. In the door here, you can see we have three by fives in the door. And in the rear, we have, let's see if I can get in here. An 8 inch sub and two 6x9s. The system sounds pretty decent for a smaller car. You can see the new seat vinyls here. Passenger side and driver side. Alright, as we saw back here too, we have a Motorsports Auto rear strut bar, and underneath we also have a rear sway bar. And we have matching ones in the front also. Let me pop the hood for you. Okay. All right. All right, so motor, like I said, it has 186,000 miles on it. It is the original L24 that came in it. You can see in here, we have a Motorsports Auto 6 in 1 ceramic coated header that goes to a Motorsports Auto, Auto twice pipe setup. Let's see if I can get underneath the car here for you. See if you can see it. Uh, it's a little tough to see from here. Uh, I'll go to the back and you can see the exhaust tips. 
is the exhaust there. Looks really nice from outside the car. That was probably only installed 